Shibashi Qigong set two exercises. We're going to do one of 18. Uh, I'm going to list one every few days just to basically eke it out a little bit. Um, with Qigong, the breathing is the important aspect of that. And it's the breathing that gives you the timing. So when you breathe in, that's when you go up. When you personally breathe out, that is when you go down. All breathing should be calm and natural. If you start feeling faint, dizzy, um, hot or flushed, it usually just means that your breathing is too deep, too heavy, in which case just stop and sit down and let that pass. The amount you want to do is personally up to you, whether you want to do 10, 12, 24, Usually, I say for, a, for a fit, healthy person, um, can be about three to four minutes can be enough. Anything after that three to four minutes is definitely a bonus and advantage. Um, no more than 20 minutes per exercise. Um, if you can imagine if you're doing all 18 for 20 minutes, you're going to be filling your day up quite quickly. Okay, so... Exercise number one, regulating the qi. Now the Chinese believe the qi is this cosmic force, this energy which circulates around the body. So we're gonna begin with just regulating the body. So this one's gonna be a nice one, it's gonna use the legs, we're gonna have nice chest expansions and rotation of the shoulders. I'm gonna show you from both sides and show you some common mistakes that can happen as well. So we start off just nice, normal standing position, feet about shoulder width, hip width apart, and we're just going to allow the knees to soften and relax. Now we're going to straighten and bend the knees, so when you straighten the knees, make sure you don't lock them, just keep them in that soft lock position, and then when you bend down, you go down an inch or two, that's personally up to you and your knees. We start off with the palms facing downwards, body nice and tall, so when you breathe in, we're just going to straighten the legs, lift the arms up, stretch, nice and stretch up there, then opening the chest, taking the arms out to the sides, breathing out, bending the legs again down to that down position, arms come down, and then closing this pigeon-chested shape here, almost bringing the arms back down. So when you breathe in, you go up. When you breathe out, go down. Now you might find if you're asthmatic, having chest difficulties, you might find you need a quick in and out here, in which case that's perfectly fine to do. Just keep your breathing calm and natural. So when you breathe in, you go up. When you breathe out, you go down and reset it round. I'll show you from the side and a couple of little pointers as well, is when you sink down, make sure you sink down. The tendency, if you're not careful, is to lean forwards. Make sure you sink down. I'll do a couple from the side. So we have the palms start down, lift up, breathing in, knees soft, open out to the sides. Watch the danger there, just to the sides. Bring it back down and round. Okay, we'll do a few together now. When you breathe in, up. When you breathe out, down, reset it round, catch your breath if you need to. Breathing in, going up. Breathing out is when you go down. So keep the breathing calm, relaxed, find your natural pace, find your natural speed, it could be completely different to the speed I'm going at. This is a personal exercise. Breathing out. Trying as the breathing deepens, the movement gets slower, works the body a little bit more.
do one more together. Now, so you can continue that. You do as many as you feel you want to do. Um, two minutes can be enough for a lot of people. And I say, we're going to slowly build this set up over the coming months. We're going to piece it together so you're going to have more and more and more to do each day. Keep well and keep safe.